in residence right here at New Salem Baptist Church and we are thankful and appreciative of that. For those of you that haven't heard us before, we are Kindred. We've been singing together in this trio for about nine years now. Uh, we were all singing in the same groups and different groups and about nine years ago I didn't feel like the group that I was singing in was getting where we needed to be and I called these two and I said, I'm quitting. And Jesse said, well, if you quit, and I'm quitting. That's the bass singer, by the way, in case you couldn't tell by my impersonation of him. And uh, we decided that the Lord was calling us to form a family group. And uh, I think that's exactly what he was calling us to do because we have made it through nine years. Bought our first sound equipment 12 months, same as cash, and paid it off in eight. Amen. Amen. And uh, we are just having the time of our life traveling around and worshiping with folks and praising the Lord. And that's what we're here tonight for. This ain't about kindred. I think Brother Grady will tell you it ain't about him. You're right. It's about You're the right. Lord. Amen. And about worshiping the great God that we Amen. all serve. Amen. And that we have the privilege to serve. And that's what we're going to do. Let me tell you who we are individually, just in case one of us make you mad. You know what the name is. <laughs> down, on, down on the end, uh, he uh, he sings bass so low that you can smell his socks on his breath, you know? <laughs> uh, he's my uncle, and I've been singing with him for a long time, and I love him, and I'm loving singing with him now. He don't mind me telling this. He's 80 years old, y'all. He's still got that yeah, wonderful bro, voice. Y'all give him a big hand. Jesse Wall, y'all make him welcome tonight. Right here in the middle, I introduce him the same way everywhere we're going. Tonight ain't going to be no different. Y'all need to be praying for her 24-7 because she has to live with him 24-7. <laughs> Throw me into the mix four, five, six, eight, sometimes 10 hours a week singing and practicing in their garage, and she's got a hard road to hoe, but she loves us no matter what. She's like the Lord. She loves us when we unlovable, we are, you know? Right. But uh, she does a wonderful job singing alto, an even better job taking care of me and Jesse, and her name is Chris Wall. Y'all give me uh, a kiss on him. <laughs> I'm the nephew to these two, and my name is Hank Griffith, and I carry the equipment and put this music together and sing lead, and uh, we are we make up Tria, uh, Kim the Kindred Trio. Now, some of you, you new folks, new hope folks, let me see your hands. Uh, up until February of 2014, uh, I was one of the vice presidents at Central Georgia Technical College, and then I retired. But many, many days, I came down this road right here, and I saw I saw signs on y'all's marquee about Southern Gospel Seniors. Y'all need to put Kindred on that sign. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, <It's just> uh, <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, there was a couple times I even started to stop and put a flyer in the door. Uh, I thought, no, Lord, if you want us there, you'll send us there. Right. And uh, uh, but we'd love to come see y'all at at, uh, at New Hope anytime. We're always looking for for places to be able to to, to worship um, our great God. Um, I have to tell I tell this story when we're not here, and I certainly got to tell it when we are here. This sweet lady right down here playing the piano. We were singing here one Sunday morning. I don't know what it was for. Uh, I think they called and said we're gonna serve lunch. Y'all want to sing? Yeah, and we said yeah, right. yeah. And that's all we needed to know. And uh, we were doing our sound check. She'd already got here. We were doing our sound check. And we sang this song right here during our sound check. And when we got finished, she said, you know, the day I wake up dead, that right there is the song I'm going to be singing. And this is what it was right here. <laughs> With joy in my soul, cause I knew that my Lord had control, and I knew I was walking in the light. Cause I've been on my knees in the night, then I prayed till the Lord gave a sign, and now I'm feeling mighty fine. Where the 
We can't do it in other places, but I got news for them. I can do it anywhere I want. Amen. And the Lord's waiting on me every time I get there. Amen. Wants to know what took me so long to get there. Amen. When I get there. This next song is an old song. It's kind of a new arrangement, but you'll know it. And that's exactly what it talks about, about the fact that we need to go to the Lord every chance we get to praise Him. Amen. To ask for forgiveness from Him. To thank him for what he has given us because we are a blessed nation in spite of what we think. Amen. I read in one of my devotions this morning that we are still a blessed nation. And we, That's right. we are. Yes. We yes. are. Satan's fighting it hard, but we're still a blessed nation. Y'all sing this song with us. Talked with the Lord and told him your heart's hidden secrets. How long since you prayed? How long since you stayed on your knees till the light shone through? your mind felt at ease how long since your heart knew the burden can you call him your friend how long has it been since you knew that he cared for you Since you did. 
test you out a little bit more than that right now though. We Anytime we sing a new song for us um, They use us for the guinea That's pig. right, we do. Uh, and we're going to do it again tonight. Uh, we, we test out a song on a live audience which is the best kind we like to sing to. Uh, we, we have sang in a couple of churches we wasn't real sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> You've been there. I preached a couple of times. <laughs> Um, and as a matter of fact, we went somewhere one night, and I told them before we got finished, I thought all of them's dog had died before they got there. <laughs> we hadn't been invited back yet, have we? Probably won't be. But um, we, we test out a song on a live audience after we practice it over and over and over five times to decide if we're going to keep it. Now, there ain't no pressure on y'all tonight, but y'all are the fifth time that's about to hear this song right here, all right? So y'all need to let us know if we need to keep it or not, and we'll do whatever you say. Now, there's a little bit of a problem with this. First of all, Jesse starts it off. So you know right off the bat, we, we got some issues with it. We actually, Donnie Sumner, uh, who produces our sound recordings for us and does a lot of our tracks for us, we, we had, he sent us a track, and we had to ask him to, to put some tambourine tink tinks in there for me to listen to to know when to start. He's blaming it on me. So, oh! yeah, I told him, I said, Jesse don't know when to start, so I need some tambourine tink tinks the thing about it is, Jesse starts whenever he wants to, and it's up to me and Chris. And I can't hear the tambourine. And, uh, <laughs> what me and Chris have to do is, we have to do like Briscoe Darling. We just have to jump in and hang on, all right? <laughs> so that's that's what we do. So uh, me and Chris are going to kind of jump in and hang on after Jesse gets started. And when we get done, y'all let us know if we need to keep it or not. I want to know that he will welcome me there. I do not want to be denied. I want to live. Let me live in that city's affair. That's enough for me to know. I do not know the day my Savior will call. I must be prepared to go. If from earth I know he'll call me someday. And that's enough. For me to know, I want to know, I want to know that he will welcome me there. I do not want, I do not want to be your head. Nah, I want to live, let me live in that city so fair. That's enough, that's enough for me to know. I want to know, don't know that he will welcome me there. I do not want, want, want to be denied. Let me live. For me to know, I want to know, I want to know that, that he will welcome, welcome me there. I do not want, I do not want to be denied. I want to live, let me live in that city so fair. That's enough for me, me to know. Tall kicks in and he gets a little bit ahead of us. That's what happened that time. We sang that one. <laughs> Is it a keeper? Yes. We sang that song, what I call Happy Goodman style. We started together and we ended together. It didn't really matter what happened in the middle. Right? <laughs> uh, that's the way. That's the way they would sing. How many of y'all like old hymns? Let me see your hand if you like old hymns. Oh, look at that, Jesse. Everybody in this place likes you. That's an old hymn right down there. <laughs> 
So we go uh, we go sing a few old hymns before we call Brother Grady up to lay the word on us. And y'all will know every one of these, and I want to see every one of y'all singing. It don't have to be pleasing to nobody but the Lord. Amen. Don't worry about what the person sitting beside you thinks. Just please the Lord. That's all that matters, all right? Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know. Jesus. 
came into my heart. And my sins, which were many, are all washed away. Since Jesus came into my heart. Since Jesus came into my heart. Lord, since Jesus came into my heart. What's the joy of my soul like the sea billows roll? Since Jesus came into my heart. came into my heart, and I'm happy, so happy, and onward I go, that Jesus came into my heart, since Jesus came into my heart, Lord, since Jesus came into my heart, floods of joy on my soul, like the sea below flows, since Jesus came into my heart, since Came into my heart. What a joy, oh my soul, like the sea billows roll. Since Jesus came into my heart. Give yourselves a hand. That's good singing, man. I'll tell you. All right, Jesse, get you some water if you need it, because we're about to sing the song that you just asked for. Can you reach it? Can you reach it? Lord, I'm having to take care of both of them now. <laughs> Need all the help I can get. Yeah, I can understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that just water, Jim? <laughs> Look at that bottle. Yes, you won't drink it all, so if some of y'all want to come in and get some of it. Oh, no, we're all right. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I'll just hold it. All right. Here's the song Jesse asked for, and I don't know about y'all, but I have to hear these words about a thousand times a day. Like the woman brought to Jesus who was taken in her sin, I was so ashamed of what I'd done and where I had been. Well, justice called for payments that were more than I could give. When mercy smiled upon me, saying, I forgive. Oh, sweetest words he ever said were, I forgive. That sin and sin was wiped away, and I could live. But I like the part where he told about the mansions he would give. But sweetest words he ever said were, I forgive. you have done. Just, just come on home, home to Jesus, you know he's a cleansing one. In his arms he'll hold you and you've just begun to live. When you hear him gently whisper, sing, I forgive. Oh, the sweetest words he ever said were, I forgive. That sin and sin was wiped away and I could live. Well, I like the part where he told he would give but the sweetest words he ever said were I forgive oh the sweetest words he ever said were I forgive that sin and sin was wiped away and I could live well like the part where he told about the mansions he would give but the sweetest words he ever said were I forgive well, I like the part where he told about the mansions he would give. But the sweetest words he ever said were, I forgive. You know, this next and last song, before we turn it back over to Eddie or Brother Grady or whoever's coming up, I think about this song right here every time I think about this church. Uh, you heard me mention that I worked in Macon for a lot of years. We live in Milledgeville. And 
I would drive down this road on the way to the office and I'd look down this road to see this church and we already knew Eddie. We were already we come by one time and I said, I wish Eddie would call us. He called me in two oh, minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. Two minutes. Two um, minutes. But um, I, I, every time I think about this church, I think about this song right here. And I want, we want to do it, or I want to do it, and ask him to do it uh, before Grady comes up to preach because I, think, I really do think it's what uh, this church is all about. Uh, and it's all about making sure that the people who are here who come into this church, who even come into this area, <coughs> making sure that they know about the wonderful name of Jesus Christ Amen. and what he can do for you. Amen. And you know, every one of us in here that can call ourselves a child of God, we had a place like this at some point in time that led us to that point. Um, and we also need to be not only part of the church that's doing that, but we need to be out in the world doing that Amen. ourselves. Amen. So between the church and us uh, and this song, wrapping it all up, I think this is what we all need to be about. There's a lighthouse on the hillside that overlooks life's sea when I'm tossed it sends out a light, a light that I might see, and the light that shines in darkness now will safely lead us o'er. If it wasn't for the lighthouse, my ship would sail no more and I thank God for the lighthouse I owe my life to him for Jesus is the lighthouse and from Oh, uh -huh.